guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 10 and we are doing the Rapid Fire book tag. So let's get started. Question number one, ebook or physical book? Um, physical book would be preference always, but sometimes it's not possible. So you got to use your e-reader or even your phone. You got to do what you got to do. But of course, if everything in life were to go the way we want, it would be physical book always. Paperback or hardback? I know a lot of people prefer hardback, but I like paperback. It's my favorite. Let me just show you. I like them. They're big. They're floppy. They're easier to carry than a hardback, and they're less heavy. I don't know. I just love a really good uh, paperback. Online or in-store shopping? Again, if I had it my way, always in store but bookstores seem to be a dying thing and you can't really find the book you want all the time so while I would rather buy something in store and you get the experience and the smell of all the books and um, obviously sometimes you gotta go online to get that book you really want so oh trilogies or series I don't care if the book is good if the storyline is good throughout all of the books whatever heroes or villains now normally you would think it would be heroes because they like save the day and they're good like you want to you know identify with the good people but let's be serious here the villains are more memorable they usually have i don't know they're so fun like it's just so fun because it's something you're not supposed to be you know a book you want everyone to read the time traveler's wife by audrey neffenegger nedger neffenegger I don't know how to say her name. It's so good. So good. It's perfect. Recommend an underrated book. Um, okay. So an underrated book, I guess, would be The Long Walk by Stephen King. I think it has good ratings, but it's not very popular in the book community, or I haven't heard a lot of things about it. But um, it's actually really good. It's a complete mind-blowing, we'll say that, uh, book. So the rest of the books on my shelves are pretty well-known. The last book you finished, that would be The Martian by Andy Ware. Is it Ware or Wire? It's one of those two. The next question is, what is the last book you bought? That would be Destruction by Sharon Bayless. What is the weirdest thing you've ever used as a bookmark? That would be a gift card. <clears throat> that was all I had. <laughs> used the books, yes or no? Yes. What are your top three favorite genres? Uh, so there's fantasy, historical fiction. Honestly, I really like historical nonfiction too. So things about President Lincoln, the Civil War, Ulysses S. Grant, and all that stuff I love learning about. Borrow or buy? Um... This is kind of one of those ones where if I had it my way, I would buy all my books, but that would be very expensive. So I'm a borrower from the library. My friends lend me books. I lend them books, etc. So borrow is the answer, but in a dream world, it would be buy because oh, who doesn't love to have new books or new used books? You know what I'm saying? Uh, characters or plot characters. Plot could be completely amazing and like a fantastic idea, but if the characters are garbage, then the book to me is garbage. Long or short books? Again, I don't have a preference. I read books of all sizes. I just don't care. Basically, don't care. Name the first three books you think of. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, what was, I just forgot. Oh, Perfect Match by Jodi Picoult. And, and Cinder by Stephanie Meyer. Books that made you laugh or cry. Um, a lot of books have made me laugh. Like, um, I love when authors put in humor and like just funny little jabs or classic things. Like, that's my favorite. So there's a lot of books that have that. The Martian was full of humor. Cinder, the series, had lots of humor in it because uh, one of the characters, it was so funny. Um, and stuff like that. But so books that make me cry, there aren't that many of them. I will say, I will say, The Time Traveler's Wife by um, Audrey Niffenegger, Niffenegger, I don't know. 
made me cry. Our world or fictional world? Um, like a fictional world, but I want to bring my family with me. Is that an option? Can that be an option? Like, oh gosh, crochet hook in my hair. Like, I want to go live in like Hogwarts and <gasps> Luna and all these fun, amazing places, but I don't want to leave my family behind. So maybe my family and I'll pack up and we'll go there. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. Like, I mean, if you've been around for more than one video, you'll know that I am an audiobook freak. I love to listen to my books while I clean, crochet, work, do whatever I need to do. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, I do. Everyone does it. That's why there's a saying about it. You're not supposed to, but everyone does it anyways. Book to movie or book to TV adaptation? I would prefer a book to movie. Um, you would think book to TV would give more options for it to encompass the entire book and like get more detailed, but I just feel like a book to movie is better. A movie or TV show you prefer to its book. And I can honestly say there's not a single one that I've ever seen that's better than the book. So if you know of one, I would love to see it because that means it's probably a phenomenal book and you should, or a phenomenal movie <laughs> or TV show and you should leave it in the comments because I actually really am intrigued. And then the last question is series or standalone? Whatever, man, whatever the author needs to do to get me a good story, whether it's broken up into multiple books or one book, big book, small book, I don't care. I love all books as long as the story is good, obviously. You know what I'm saying? That is it for the rapid fire book tag. So I'm not tagging anyone. If you see this and you want to participate, go for it. Cause no one tagged me. So I found it and said, that looks fun. So I'm gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about some of my answers. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.